Hello and welcome to uh, Confrontation. It's a game made by uh, Cyanide and it's a tactical RPG. It looks a lot like uh, Dragon Age. The same overview, the same kind of movement abilities and the, the map actually looks quite similar. Narrow paths uh, from opening... Uh, op no, this is actually off map. Here you have a larger area which you can uh, do battle. And it's quite similar. Uh, though there are more interaction in Dragon Age, and uh, it's quite, it's a lot bigger the game. You have, uh, right I think it'll actually come up now when I move to the first enemy, yeah. which is over here. Yeah, that's just some Forward. movement. Yeah. So here you can f oh. kill him. You can press space and pause the game like you can do in uh, Dragon Age, where you can kind of look at the battlefield and put your guys where you want them to be. So you can be a little tactical. You also have abilities down here. Uh, I believe uh, not, not every character has six abilities. Uh, some of them actually just have five, which are being unlocked as you level up. Not sure if you get the information. Yeah, maybe you do, actually. No. It will not tell you when you get them. You'll just get them. Uh, to go back here, it's um, quite similar to Dragon Age as well. You have uh, strength, constitution, agility, diversity, intelligence and wisdom to uh, boost your different kind of skills. Um, you will not get loot in this game. You'll actually pick up armor points and weapon points when you can uh, that you can put in a slot like this. It, uh, you can choose between physical armor, magical armor and different kinds of uh, perks for your character uh, depending on how you want to play him. You actually get glyphs, defensive glyphs, um, supportive glyphs and, uh, and, and offensive glyphs that you can put in here. Um, the weapon looks like this. Uh, it's the same principle as with the armor buff, but you also have two weapon two. Uh, the downside is that when you press OK, you want to do s something, you cannot reset it, so you have to be careful of uh, how you choose to play. Um, I'll go back to the game here. As you can see, this uh, is the main character, uh, Darius, and uh, he has a sword and a flag. I guess it's, uh, it's like a totem bearer. And you can change this weapon to uh, a shield. And um, I believe it's a hammer, a mace, it's a hammer. And uh, depending on what role you want to uh, put your characters in uh, throughout the game, um, the m weapon you choose will be your main, so you should choose carefully on which one you choose that made any sense. You can see here uh, on the characters panel we have uh, his abilities, his um, uh, resistances and his combat skills. And, uh, like Dragon Age this is fairly much uh, the battle, how the battle works. You uh, attack and you let your opponent die. We're gonna meet up with uh, a friendly ally here called Lanwis. It seems that you have the ability in this game to uh, to choose between um, a lot of different playing styles. As you can see my Darius here, my warrior, he has a healing skill, holy prayer. He also have a buff that gives hit, uh, hit chance. Um, that is the skills, there are the skills I can see now. This one is a charge. And uh, it makes him more of the tank, actually, and uh, while the tank has these abilities, the, my the new fellow, Herod. which is a Thalion, also have a heal and a damage skill. So he seems more like a supportive rogue, Good. actually. Let's move on and uh, fight, some, fight the next battle, see what happens. For the temple! 
this is just a tutorial uh, part of the state of the game, uh, obviously. And uh, right it's quite informative. Uh, gives you the information you need about the game. And uh, here we can see we can actually pause the game like in Dragon Age here. And now I want to use this buff to give more hit chance. Then I can hold shift and tell him to go attack afterwards. I can also remove it by clicking it. I can use this skill. Tell him to uh, beat him up and go on to the next foe if I want to do that. Let's see what happens. I can see he moves on. Moves quite well. I find that the cooldowns in this game are quite long, so uh, with only two characters, or then your things will be perhaps a little dull. But just to learn the basics of the game, uh, you'll have a maximum party of four characters later in the game. Let's uh, do one more fight before we uh, move on a little later later in the game. This is a uh, the Sciatis. The characters in, the, in this game have really strange names. But I guess it's fine. Well, let's try to use the heal. It's quite nice. So that's kind of the basic mechanics of the game. You move around and you attack and um, that's it, I guess. <laughs> There's not a lot of um, other things going on. Uh, like a primitive and basic Dragon Age, that's where you have confrontation. Uh, it seems to be a little buggy sometimes. Um, I think it's hard for me to illustrate right now, but um, if you play the game a little longer, you can see this. He stumbles instead of stopping or doing something else. And it's very easily to be blocked by your own people, and uh, in some maps, actually, they just stop running. It's quite annoying. But um, it's actually very playable, even though. Uh, it's a little annoying sometimes, but you learn how to handle it. Let's uh, back to menu and uh, continue this uh, c campaign that I've started. This is ca uh, chapter 2, and it's a bit further into the game. The enemies from the first stadium is uh, called Scorpions. It's one of the factions in the game, and your first ca chapter is more or less all about the Scorpion faction. Uh, you break into a lab and you fight. And uh, instead of character interaction in the game, you have a narrator narrator that uh, well tells the story. So here you can see we have four uh, players. Here we have a mage, we have a gunman, we have the rogue from uh, before, and we have a warrior. He's even more tanked than the guy before. And, uh, well, we've locked a lot of the abilities for level 18 here. Uh, it takes about 10 hours of failing <laughs> before you get to this state of the game. And uh, this is extra hard. It's the uh, hardest and uh, it's playable. I like it. It's fair. So, um, let's just try to see how the game works uh, in a larger battle. Uh, then you can decide for yourself if you want to buy the game. I would definitely do it. Alright. In the tactical stance we're going to start off by giving my warriors some more defensive points. Oh yeah. Um, plus and minus of the battle system. The abilities works for a long time. This stumbling shot, it's, uh, make, it's making uh, mobs fall. And it lasts for, you can see here, duration 10 seconds. Uh, you have another mage that has the fear abilities. I, th I believe maxed out, it lasts for 15 seconds. 
the downside is that enemy spells last the same to you. So if you're getting feared, you can say goodbye to your character for a long time. Let's uh, try to um, attack. Let's see what happens. Let's just try to burst down this initiate to see uh, combat system. Um, I'm using Q W E A S D for my spells here. It's uh, representative of the buttons down here. So um, it's quite quite functional actually. So you don't have to use your mouse too much if you don't like to play around with that stuff. Here you see my rear is being charged. Here, actually here we burned down this guy instantly. Quite satisfied with that. You can see my uh, ma uh, warrior who took the initiate uh, initial damage. It's uh, the main target now, but already my mage is being focused by this guy, Amok, which is quite dangerous. This percentage, I don't really know what it is. I haven't figured it out. Let's just try to uh, kill this Marabout. Let's move out from the people here. We have a provocation skill here, which, which is a taunt. We're gonna use that, and then a heal. See my character fall down, fell down here. He's been sleeping for quite some time. I want to help killing this guy, so let's do it. Here you can see I'm even being feared, so I believe this is debuffed this spell. Control this spell. Let's try to use that to see what happens. And I need to heal my people, so my supportive rogue is gonna do that. Worked out quite well. This is feared forever, it's quite annoying. Now it's over the You can revive your uh, teammates in battle by clicking, or it takes about 10 seconds, I think. Um, but you're very vulnerable when you're doing it, so. You can try, but you'll probably die, so. At least at in this fight quite dangerous. Let's just try to kill this hunter. I can see my warrior just died. I can try to just run, actually. Tell him to run over there while this other guy is resurrecting my warrior. It might work. might die as well, of course. You can see here I'm lucky, so he got all the, the aggravation, so... Here I got stunned, for he had the chance, so now he's gonna die. I'll try res him anyway, won't help. So this is uh, the hardest mode, and now I'm gonna die, so... And it's fear. Um, I can accept, accept dying like this. Yep, this is the game, this is how it works, this is how it plays out. Um, I would give it probably uh, 5 out of 10 points. Um, it's playable, the story is not great, but uh, it's a story. And it's entertaining, but uh, it lacks the the great stories, the, there are a few bugs, uh, or not perhaps bugs, but bad movement and uh, automation of the, of the movement. And bugs like this making my uh, cursor actually fall off the screen. Not borderless windows, uh, which I prefer. Different things, but you'll figure it out if you want to buy the game.
Thank you for watching.